So what is air loss and what is my return on investment? So air loss for a building is when we're heating up our house nice and hot, but we're losing our heat through cracks in the building, even through service penetrations coming out. So our goal is to seal this up and stop that air loss. So what is my return on investment? So if we take a typical self builder and they're doing a 200 square meter building and we'll be conservative and we'll say we've got 2.5 um, meter high walls. So we'll have a building volume of 500 meter cube. So if we take that and well, our target was gonna be five, but I've come in and I've convinced the client and we're gonna go for our golden ticket of 0 0.6 air changes per hour. That means on this self-build house, you would save a minimum of 1,001 pound per year. So that would be on year one. Now over five years with inflation of say 2%, that'd be 5,200. And on 25 years, that would be around about 32,000 pounds just on your saving on your air tightness. And this is worst case scenario, because don't forget, when we're dealing with the air tightness, we're actually protecting that U value as well. So these calculations over 25 years only account for the air loss, but not the energy savings we're making by making sure that U value is actually working to its designed target. So if you want to work out your energy loss through the air loss, be it commercial or residential buildings, go on intelligentmembranes.com for our free online calculator.